Hi, in case any of you don't recognise me, my name is Katie Child and I would really like to be one of your vice captains this year. One of the vice captains' roles is to plan and organise the school's charity events. Many charities have lost out on crucial funding since they can't do anything to do any events right now. So I would organise many more events in the school in order to help all the charities that have lost out. I think that for our first fundraising event, the money we raise should go to a COVID-19 related charity so that as well as wearing our masks in corridors, we know that we are doing everything we can to help. Whether these are dress up and dress down days or working with the other captains and prefects to plan activities we can safely do, I would love to hear everyone's ideas on these so that we can still enjoy our charity weeks like usual. Another thing I would like to see around the school is more inter-house competitions. A lot of the competitions in the school, particularly in the junior school, are sports based, so I think it would be cool to have a variety of different competitions and it would be interesting to see what people could come up with. You may be wondering how I plan to hear everyone's ideas. As much as I would be happy to have a chat with everyone, I know a lot of people, particularly who are new or in younger years, would find it daunting to speak to someone they might not know about their suggestions. I would place boxes throughout the school where people could anonymously put their ideas in. This way everyone, even if they are too shy to speak up, can have their ideas heard. These, these ideas could be about anything, from suggestions about charity events to looking into a place for those who want a bit of space to chill out and relax in at breaks and lunches. Personally, I would like to work with those involved with Eco last year, to see if we can carry out any of their plans to make the school more eco-friendly. I also know that last year there was a lot of interest in a school musical, but for a variety of reasons this didn't happen. Although it would be nice, I can't promise this with the current situation, but if it's possible, I would definitely be up for working with others who want to get involved to try and make this go ahead. Hopefully you can see that as your vice captain, I would listen to everyone's ideas and work my hardest to try and carry these out. Thank you for listening and good luck to everyone. Hi, I'm Madeline and I have been a part of Bigger High School since first year. I am hard working, confident and a good team player and I have enjoyed being part of the Bigger High School community immensely, particularly through doing extracurricular clubs and activities such as playing rugby for Bigger Rugby Club. As a vice captain, I will work well with the other pupils in leadership roles whilst actively taking part in the role of vice captain and I will represent the school with pride. Needless to say, school hasn't been quite what it normally is and keeping everyone safe isn't an easy job. So, to take some of the pressure off the staff, I'd like to propose for sixth years to have a role of hall monitors to ensure that everyone wears a mask properly and efficiently. And it's daunting enough as it is to start high school, let alone in the middle of a global pandemic. And mental health, I feel, is very underrepresented at Bigger High. And in my opinion, raising awareness for people who suffer from mental health disorders is a top priority. And creating a support group for those who need it is incredibly important at this time. So that is something that I would also like to implement if I were to be vice captain. Um, due to the limit of the number of people allowed in the Essex study room, there are many people who don't have a place to go if the study room is full and the library is, is closed. So I'd like to try to find a place for seniors to go during their free period so that they can study and do homework in another space um, whilst adhering to the restrictions and guidelines in place. As well as having ideas on how to make the school different and try and improve everyone's high school experience from a pupil's point of view, a vice captain also needs to be a good role model. As someone who is diligent, friendly and approachable, I believe I can set a good example for younger pupils throughout the school. Thank you for listening and don't forget to vote for me for vice captain. Hi, I'm Catherine and I would like you to give me a chance to be your new vice captain. I want to start off by saying that I'm very happy and proud to be a part of Bigger High. As someone who's been quiet or subdued for the majority of my high school life, I see the role as a pupil council member to be one of importance. I've seen a range of different people who have taken the position of school captain or prefect and such, all with different ideas and solutions to problems they care about. This is obviously something I care about too. And as someone who hasn't always used their voice, I know that this is an important thing for people in leadership positions to speak up for those who aren't comfortable doing so. Something I think is crucial to being in a leadership position is listening to what others have to say. And being so, it's equally as important to be able to use the ideas of others to make real improvements that everyone wants. So I want to promise you something. I want to promise that I will always be someone who listens to what you want. I will try my hardest to do what's best for all the years, no matter your age, your hobbies or anything else. Everyone in the school has a right to the voice their ideas 
and I want to be the person who has the time to listen to what you have to say. I'm going to quickly go over some of the things that I will look at in changing or improving in the school. I'm a student who mostly works in the creative side of school, and I've noted that there is a lack of resources for departments like art, graphics or music. Now, I have no power when it comes to try and do anything about funding, which is why I would like to try and put an emphasis on members of the school donating any unused resources like fabrics, books or creative resources, which are always needed in these departments. Another thing I would like to do is provide more opportunities for those who do creative subjects to show off their talents at this school and at the community, which could be something as simple as showing off more pieces of work during the school year. Something I would also like to do is possibly add proper recycling bins to the school instead of the cardboard ones and have them more available in places like the streets, the halls and outside. Well, these are obviously just a couple of things I want to do, but my overall idea is that all students here should have an opportunity to be creative and try something new and have fun doing so. I'm going to wrap this up by emphasising the idea of teamwork. It's important to have ideas and to be ambitious, but what you have to remember is that sometimes you can't do things alone. And ultimately, being in the position of vice-captain means that you must work as a team to get things done. Being a team means finding compromises, being able to communicate, and working under stress to get the job done. I hope that you'll give me an opportunity to show you that I can be this person. Well, with all that being said, thank you for listening and have a nice day. Hello, my name is Elliot Reardon. Our year in Essex has already been proved to be like no other. We have been forced to navigate the treacherous path burdened with new and unusual expedition equipment, our masks and hand sanitizer. Despite this, I promise to attempt to give us parts of the school year that we all continue to hope and crave for. I promise to attempt to ensure that our favourite events, such as the Charity Weeks, continue with the best possible safety precautions in place. This has been a part of every year's Essex experience, and losing it this year would be a chilling thought. That is why it is necessary to ensure that the events of the Charity Week still occur, but with slight changes in the events to ensure the safety of the school community. On top of the Charity Week, I promise to make plans and attempts to keep other key parts of the standard Essex year, such as the hoodies, the yearbooks, and hopefully if efforts to continue to suppress the coronavirus prove fruitful, possibly even the prom, an event that was lost last year due to the lockdown. But on top of the promising the best possible continuation of a standard year, despite the extraordinary conditions, I believe that we can still have a positive influence to ensure that we leave our school a better place. I propose to do this by opening the Pupil Council as much as possible to allow the pupils' to voices to be heard. To do this, the profile of the representatives and what they are doing should be raised. Better methods to bring issues to the Pupil Council must be implemented, and hopefully, if possible, opening the Pupil Council to all pupils who are interested. I also wish to create awareness of the limitations of the technology within the school. The mere fact that our projectors sit on the table taking up space in each class where they can easily be knocked or damaged shows the detriment of our school's technology. Most merely mounting the projectors properly from the roof would go a long way to start to fix this. I'm sure that most of you are likely peering onto one of these projectors now, barely able to make out each of the candidates as it is. Unless, of course, you are lucky enough to be in Mr. Irvin's room, a beacon of what should be in every class. This is why we should demand better technology that, we, that will ensure that our education is not limited by the lack of it. If you vote for me, I promise to try and give us the year of S6 that many of us thought we had lost. But on top of that, I promise to bring about a legacy that we can leave behind proudly by opening up the Pupil Council to every pupil and to make it clear that we demand better from our technology. Thank you. Hi, I'm Sky Mariner and this is why you should vote for me to be your next Vice Captain. I've been at Bigger High School for the past four years now and I've made friendships and memories that I will cherish for a lifetime. Now, and I truly want to give something back. Over my years at Bigger, I've been given and introduced to some amazing opportunities. One that I'm most proud of is my work with the Scottish Youth Climate Strikers. Now, I won't bore you with all the details, but I will say this. Working with SYCS, I have developed skills that I feel will help me be the best vice captain I can. For example, I work with multiple people with every project I do. With that, there is always opposing views and opinions, so I'm used to being a problem solver. I've learned a teamwork, dedication, organisation and many other skills. Now, talking about some more personal things, I'm a big sister to a three-year-old. 
he's taught me so many things but the most important not everything goes to plan and that's okay sometimes you have to work with what you've got and sometimes compromises are the best way to move forward also another personal thing mental health now i've struggled with my own for many years now and I understand what it feels like to feel like you're completely alone and that your voice isn't being heard. But I promise as your vice captain to always ensure that your captains hear your voice, that they always look out for your best interests and that they are there for you no matter what. Now, I'm not gonna sit here and give you a bunch of empty promises, but here's what I can promise. I promise to always be your friend, to always be your biggest supporter and biggest cheerleader. And most importantly, I promise to always have the time to listen to what you have to say. Thank you. Hello, sixth year and staff. Composing this speech was difficult due to you already knowing me so well, whether it being through teaching, meeting me through classes or rugby, or simply knowing my name. I speak to you asking for your vote as a tenacious leader. Year after year, every school captain decides to tell everyone that they will do these amazing things, when in actual fact, they don't do any of it. As a vice captain, you can expect nothing less than utter tenacity in me giving the pupils what they want. It's now time for someone to actually make a difference. Consistently, I see throughout the years of high school, not much thought is put into a designated area for sixth years. Yes, we have the common room, but let's be honest, it's not that great and it has about six chairs. As an ambition for my role, I would be at least to get more chairs or more designated spots for my year. Another key ambition is a better Christmas dance for our last year. Every year we participate in dances we don't like to songs we don't know. Perhaps a more modern dance would pull this high school standards a bit higher with when a vote should be presented to the high school and whether it should be put up with social dancing for another year or have a more enjoyable final dance. Voting for me is voting for change. Hi, I'm Evie and I would like to be your vice captain. I'm sure most of you will be feeling a mix of emotions this year as we move through the year in the midst of a pandemic and the thought of voting for vice captain seems trivial in the grand scheme of things. Well, this year so far has been a strange and disconcerting year for everyone. I would hope that as a vice captain I would make it my aim to ensure you feel that while everything else in the year might not have gone to plan, your school experience will be a source of both normality and positivity. More more specifically, I think it's crucial that we do not neglect the non-academic aspect of school life and so I would work with the captains to ensure that we maintain school traditions such as charity week, sports day and Christmas events, even if that means holding a virtual Christmas quiz or socially distanced dancing even. Additionally, I would propose increased support for the mental well-being of pupils. Most notably, I would hope to introduce quiet rooms which would be equipped with resources for pupils to find support and contacts for any cause of anxiety, stress or worry they might be feeling but also providing a space for pupils to just kind of take a breather if they become overwhelmed with school life. Lastly, I would like to see the school provide a more diverse education of both other cultures and global issues aside from coronavirus obviously. <laughs> that are otherwise very easy to be unaware of living in a small rural town like Bigger. Hopefully then, by providing this education within school, we can then ensure that everyone at Bigger High feels accepted and respected, regardless of their ethnicity, sexual orientation or upbringing. So, in short, if you were to vote for me for Vice Captain, I would work tirelessly not only to uphold these aims and promises as a Vice Captain, but most importantly, to ensure that you remember your last year at Bigger High School, not because of the pandemic, but in spite of it. Thank you. Hi, for those that don't know me, I'm Lauren and I'm running to be your Vice Captain. This role is not about me and it's about you. I'd like to start off by saying why I bring to school as Vice Captain. Due to Covid, there are limitations of what we can do and achieve, but I would support my fellow captains and I would also provide fresh new ideas to make sure that every voice was heard. I know that we're all very different individuals and we all have our own niches, whether that be sports, the arts or anything that takes your fancy. But my goal is that we work together as a team to create an environment in school that in which all our opinions are heard and that we feel comfortable and happy to be in. 
We have been conditioned by the media to believe that high school is the best time of our lives. For example, many of us believed that high school was going to be like our childhood favourite film, High School Musical. However, this is not the case. But what I do believe is that high school is the beginning of our young adult lives and must be ensured that it's a positive and enjoyable experience to kickstart our journey into the real world. So, if there's anything at all that you'd think that would enhance your career at Bigger High School, I would take this in and ensure your voice is heard. I'm approachable and a great listener. Not only would I listen, I would do anything within my power to make sure that your idea is known or you're given the correct advice. I will also promise to try my best to keep events up and running like the dance show, sports team, charity week and rock night. And I truly believe, like Troy and Gabriella once said, that we're all in this together. Thank you. I have been given two minutes to tell you why I should be your captain, which is why I'm not going to ramble on about unrealistic promises that everybody makes. I'm simply going to tell you why I should be your captain. But what is a captain? Captain America? Captain Jack Sparrow? Captain Kirk? When I googled the definition of a captain, many meanings came up. To be a captain is to be a commander of a vessel, the leader of a team, a person in authority. A captain is someone who steers a ship through a storm, someone who has to make a split second decision, and someone who wins the battle. But what makes a good captain is someone who does everything in their power to win the war. Like when Captain America won the Civil War, or when Captain Jack Sparrow defeated Davy Jones, or when Captain Kirk conquered Gorn. Now, you may be wondering why I've, why I've chosen these captains as, as examples. Other than the fact that they were the three that I actually recognised on Google's list of famous captains, they are also representative of something, even though they are fictional. They were the voices for their people. Captain America fought for what he believed in. Captain Jack Sparrow fought for his ship and his reputation. And Captain Kirk fought for justice. That, right there, that is why I should be your captain so that I can fight for what you believe in, what you desire, and to be your voice. I have researched this. I got opinions from those who are more knowledgeable than me. Google, Star Trek.com, and Marvel fan Fanatics. I went out of my way to get answers, all in order to show you that I should be your captain. I could go on and on about my attributes and qualities that makes me the perfect candidate to be captain. But I think this speech speaks for itself. I have put time and effort into it, I have challenged the normal ideals and, just like Captain America, Captain Jack Sparrow and Captain Kirk, I am coming to you through a screen, but I am not fictional. Thank you. Hello everyone, my name is Emma and I am running to be one of your captains this year. Some of you may already recognise me from playing rugby down at Bigger Rugby Club or waiting outside Zest. Bigger High School has taken me from the shy and reserved S1 I used to be and turned me into the confident and ambitious young adult I am today, so I'd love to give back to the school. I'm a positive and enthusiastic person and I promise I'll come in smiling every Monday morning, ready to face any challenges that might be thrown at me throughout the week. I'm a great team player and I've learned this through captaining the girls under 18's rugby team at Bigger Rugby Club. An initiative I would like to introduce is the Achievement Board. I believe there's a lot of talent and kindness in our school that goes unseen and I would like to celebrate your successes, no matter how big or small they may be, by creating this board. In doing this, I hope to spread positivity and to motivate others to be the best they can be. I would also like to get the vending machines up and running as soon as possible and talk to teachers about getting a better variety of snacks for you all. I also want to improve the S6 common rooms to make it a more comfortable and relaxing environment for everyone. Um, I'd also like to allocate um, common rooms for S4 and um, S5 pupils to give them a quiet study space also. Um, from being at Bigger High School I have definitely learned my ABC. A reminds me always to be ambitious, B reminds me to believe in myself and C reminds me to always have confidence and be caring. And these are some of the qualities that I would bring if I were to be captain. But as for the X, Y and Zs, when you're casting your vote, put the X next to my name and I won't let you down. And finally, the Z stands for zest. I have a zest for life and I'll have a zest for lunch. 
I hope you consider my pledge to be your captain and thank you for listening. Hello, for those of you that don't know me, my name is Cal Sutherland and it would be an honour to be one of your school captains this year. I'd hoped it would have been face to face so it's a little bit strange talking into a camera. As school captain, what would I do for you guys? I know school is different right now because of the coronavirus, but as school captain, I would like to make it as normal as possible, possible with following all the rules and making sure everyone still keeps safe. Previous school captains have tried to get permission to allow every year group to go up the street on a Friday. However, this is not something that we can change. So as a compromise, on the last Friday of each month, I would like to make it a dress down day for everyone. As school captain, I would not have the power to introduce new food and drink into the canteen. However, I would negotiate with teachers to bring back our favourites. Who has missed the toffee muffins? I definitely have. Talking about food and drink, when school life goes back to normal, I would like to see more tables in the street and outside, as I know a lot of you guys have to stand while eating your lunch. I think it's important that there's a support available for pupils outside of class. I would set up a support team of S6s who would be available to help with any homework or studying at any lunchtime or break. For example, if you needed help with your science homework, I would be able to help you. And finally, once COVID restrictions are lifted, I would like to work with the PE department to create more sports teams and get more people involved. For example, a football team or a girls rugby team as they're already a boys one. I would like to know your suggestions on this. I'm a very approachable person and who loves a chat and as school captain I would encourage you all to come to me with your ideas as it's not just my voice that matters. I would like to make a difference. Vote for me as school captain and together we can make bigger high school a better place. Thank you for listening.